Anyway, kids, guess what? I've been swimming in the ocean. I've been looking for sea creatures. I found lots and I'm still swimming. Can you see them behind me and at the side? So let's all go together and read this book tonight called Commotion in the Ocean by Giles Andre and David Oops, we've got a but before I do that, I'm going to have to take these off. Oh, okay, it's me. Ready? Sitting tight? Swimming? There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea. Swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's a turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's see if we can find who's hiding there. The crab. The crab likes walking sideways and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Can you see him? Turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch they scamper about in the sand. There they all are, the two baby turtles. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Dolphins. Dolphins are my favourite. The most wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. But it's not, how do you do? Or, hi, I'd like to say to you, it's more of a click, whistle and squeak. Click and squeak. Can you all do that? Can everybody whistle? And squeak. <laughs> there they are, are, swimming along happily. They're such lovely creatures. I think I've coloured one in somewhere. Can't think where it is. Oh, he's there. Angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame. There are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. I've got on there. Jellyfish. The jellyfish just love to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not, not all that useful, but jiggling's very good fun. Can we all jiggle? Woo! A shark. I know some of you boys will probably like sharks. I swim, swim with a grin to meet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. seeing nasty teeth. I'm not keen on sharks. Swordfish. I love to chase after small fish. It stops me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. A 
octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Can you see the octopus? A stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings, but you don't get too close to him. His tail really stings. Can you see? The end of his tail buzzes, buzz, and it stings. A lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. There we go, I didn't show you them, did I? There's the lobsters. In the deep sea, miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you ever could meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulbous eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all of them have glowing whispers, whiskers on their chins. There you go. There's those. A blue whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. And the bottom of the whale it says, we're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous but it's our favourite thing. There's the blue whale. He's magnificent. He's the king of the sea. Oh, walrus. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. There they all are. Ooh, they're Penguins! We waddle about on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splosh off the side. Polar bears. Deep out in the, Antarct in the Arctic, the mummy polar bear snuggles up with all her children and it's very cold out there. There they are. It's really cold but they don't feel it because they've got lots of fur. What a lot of creature! We have seen beneath the sea what a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly and the lobster very fierce. But the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you? Name the other friends we've made along the way. See if you can tell me who they are. Oh, should we do some guessing? You shout out 
some of the creatures that you've seen. Tell mum and dad. I'll give you some clues. Um, are you shouting? Are you telling me? Oh. So in this book there were crabs, turtles, dolphins, angelfish, jellyfish, swordfish, octopus and a stingray, a lobster, a walrus, a penguin and a polar bear. But there's one that we still haven't said. It was the biggest creature in the sea. And it was a um, hundred feet long. Yes, it was the big blue whale. Hope you enjoyed that kids. Um, I'm going back off now swimming with the creatures so I'll see you on Thursday with another bedtime story okay bye see you Thursday